Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the way indicators work to identify the presence of acids and bases in a given solution. By definition, indicator is a substance that change color to indicate the presence of acids and bases in a given solution. Basically, we have two categories of indicators. We have organic indicators and in organic indicators. Organic indicators are those indicators which are obtained from plants such as litmus papers. Also we have in organic indicators, it is indicators which is obtained from minerals such as MO which is methyl orange. Also we have POP, phenolphthalein indicators. So these are examples of inorganic indicators. So let's see how these indicators help to identify the presence of acid and bases in a given solution. So here take example we have this solution of sodium hydroxide which is a base in fact. So we take a small portion of sodium hydroxide base and then I take small amounts of this indicator which is methyl orange which is orange in color so once I put it into a solution which contain base at least two or three drops you will see that the color of, of indicator changes from orange to yellow so this indicated the presence of a base also, we have another solution which is containing acid. It is diluted hydrochloric acids. So, I take a small sum of solution of hydrochloric acid and then I take two or three drops of methyl orange. So, now you observe that the color of the indicator changes from orange to red. So this indicates the presence of acids. Also we have another solution which is vinegar. This vinegar is used at home for different purposes, especially for cooking. So let's, let's take a, a sample of vinegar. So here we have methyl orange. So if you drop two or three drops of indicators, you will see that a color change from orange to red. So this indicates that vinegar contains acids. Also we have Lemon here, we can take samples. Then after, let's check this solution or these indicators. So once you put these drops, you will find the color of indicator changes from orange to red. So this indicates that lemon contain acids. So this is how indicators work to show or to identify the presence of acids and bases in a given solution. So also we have another indicator which is phenolphthalein indicators. It is colorless solutions and this help to identify the presence of acid in the bases. So let's take a solution of base which is sodium hydroxide. So then after we can take a few drops of phenolphthalein indicators. So, 
once you take it, a few drops of phenolphthalein indicators, which is RRS, once you add into a solution which contains base, the color of the indicator will change from colorless to pink. So this indicates the presence of bases. Also, let's, let's take another example. Take these acids, which is hydrochloric acids. It is a colorless solution. And then take some drops of POP. So the solution will continue to be colorless. So once you take a few drops of POP, which is colorless, once you add into a container which contain acids, so a POP will, will never change its color. So this indicates the presence of whom? acids. Also we have this button powders. Let's find whether this substance is it acid or bases. Take a sample of it and then you dissolve in water. So then after let's take this methyl orange. So you see now the color change from orange to yellow. So this indicates the presence of this. 